So the pretty Polly Stokes is next in. This is for the Phillies this time. And it's over a mile and a quarter. I think it's just got listed so does this one. Well, I don't find out in a second or two. As the field comes through. Yeah, it's a mile and a quarter listed race for three-year-old Phillies. And the top one is Anne of Troy, Paul Rose, Budgie Smuggler, Django, Cash in Your Chips, Joshua Sutherland, Chernick C, Kabiza, T, Hefi Hasnonium, Vinnie Gerard, Little Mermaid, Paul Rhodes, Militus. Tam King, Mobster's Wife, Molly at Surfer, Riot Life's David Robertson, Rose Sword, Jim Murray, The One Easy Thing, Darren Thompson, and Wild One Forever, Martin Lee. And they're all in. And away they go. And two Paul Rhodes horses on the near side. Out well, but the one a little bit slow to go was Chernick C. Right over on the far side, The One Easy Thing was disputing the lead. But now the Jim Murray horse, Rose Sword. He's thinking about the lead, but they sorted themselves out through the first couple of furlongs, and the one easy thing right over on the far side, Militus, the grey up the centre of the track, then comes Rose Sword and Anne of Troy, cashing your chips is also pretty close up, Budgie Smuggler's also getting a little bit closer as well, and Mobster's Wife is after that one, Hefi Hasonium is in mid-division and looking towards the back, Chernick C and Wild One Forever are struggling to go the pace, so they're already down towards the six and a half furlong mark and Emeritus has gone a good three lengths clear of the one easy thing in second Little Mermaid has moved through into third now with Rose Sword with the red sleeves the yellow jacketed budgie smuggler is next Anne of Troy the second Paul Rhodes horse trying to get a little bit closer Mobster's wife is also still there right up the centre of the track half eye his half eye has no name that one's called his next riot life is struggling a bit towards the back wild one forever is well out of shot and not completely tailed off and it's Melitus in the lead then by two lengths Melitus by two and queuing up behind here comes mobster's wife coming down to throw down a big challenge on the near side little mermaid also now if i has no is trying to get a little bit closer but it's still Melitus they've got to get to Melitus by about a length and a half to half i has no who's now come through in second then little mermaid mobster's wife cashing your chips out of troy now making a forward move on just going backwards is Rose Sword but Melitus is the one they've got to catch and Melitus is clear by about three lengths as they hit the two furlong mark now then Melitus by three to Hefi Hatsnonium in second then behind them cashing your chips out of Troy the one easy thing Little Mermaid still there Mobster's wife losing its place but it's Melitus they've got to get to him Melitus is still too clear at the furlong pile and Melitus does not like she's stopping Melitus is clear by a couple of lengths to Hefi Hatsnonium in second out of Troy's trying to run on but it's Melitus is going to take this one I think as they race up towards the line in the pretty poly it's going to be Melitus Melitus, that's actually Melitus, they're going to have I have no name second, then catch me chips and out of Troy, little mermaid, and the one easy thing, Budgie Smuggler after that. Chernick C might have been the last one to finish, it's Melitus for Town King. If I has no name for Vinnie Gerard is second, cashing your chips, Joshua Sutherland third, and of Troy for Paul Rhodes was fourth, and Paul was fifth as well with Little Mermaid.